back to another video. Today's video is me going through my vintage clothes. I did a video similar to this about two years ago where I shared some of my vintage pieces and the story behind them. So today I thought I'd just go through my vintage closet, because I have one, <laughs> and just go through like where I got the pieces, what decade they're from. If I know a story behind them, cool. If not, hey, you just get to see them. Some of these pieces have been featured on my TikTok and Instagram. Some of these might not have been. So they might be new to everyone. <laughs> so I guess let's get into it. The first piece I have is this stole, which I actually showed in the last video that I did about this. I got this as, at an estate sale and as I was walking out, the woman doing the estate sale for her mother uh, saw me with it and asked if I wanted to know the story behind it. And I was like, ah, oh, yeah. When her father was trying to woo her mother, uh, he made her this. He actually worked for a company that made real fur clothing uh, in the area. And so he made it for her, which I thought was cute. I don't know why you would get rid of it. I would, if I knew that, I would have kept this forever. But it's a cute story and it's very soft. Now, me personally, I don't know everyone's view on real fur clothing. Um, it is very warm, obviously, but I know some people don't like that. Uh, I collect pieces like this and I do wear them on occasion. It's not something I wear every day. Obviously, you wouldn't wear something like this every day. Um, but I do think they're interesting and uh, I collect them, so. Yeah. Here are two fur coats made from different animals. I believe this one still has the tag on it. It is, does it say? doesn't. I have no idea what animal this one is. I believe this one is mink. Um, I get most of my clothes. Oh, this one has a tag too. Dude, I gotta take the tags off of this stuff. What is it? I don't know. I got this one from an estate sale. I believe it's mink. Um, it's very long and very cozy. And this one I got from an, it was an estate sale, but not really. It was an antique sale at this uh, mall. It was like a big sale. And uh, I got it, I wasn't planning on getting it, but I tried it on and it fit me perfectly. They actually gave it to me, I think, I don't know if it was half off, but they gave it for me cheaper than it was priced. And I went, hell yeah. I do not wear fur coats very often, but they are very toasty and very fashionable and make you look like you got money when you don't. <laughs> but both of them are uh, very, very soft. This is my last real fur piece. I don't have very many. I do have a few collars that are not in this closet, but when it comes to clothing, this is my last piece. This is also a stole. I got this one a few days ago at an estate sale, and uh, it's actually made in St. Louis, which is kind of cool. Uh, this one's also very, very soft. I believe this is mink. Most of it is mink. Uh, the pieces I find usually are, but it's in very good condition. There's a few stains um, on it. It's not perfect, but it is very soft. Now we're into jackets. This jacket I've had for three years. Uh, it was one of my first pieces. I started collecting vintage truly in 2020 when everything went to shit. Um, before then I had a few, but I wasn't a big collector. In the last three years, I've gone full on vintage mode. <laughs> so most of this stuff I've gotten within three years. Some pieces might be older, most are three years. This is a 60s coat that I got at a sale at a church. A church was having like an antique sale and they had purses and, and clothes and it was very awesome. And it's the reason I got into collecting. I went to that sale and it just like flipped a switch in my brain and here we are. This is a 60s coat. It is very soft. It's very heavy as well. Um, and it's a pretty color of green. It's got big green buttons, 60s. They had very big buttons. Um, and you know, it's not in perfect condition. Most of my clothes aren't. Uh, but it's, I believe, yes, it does. It has pockets. Pockets are an added bonus. Some vintage clothes does not have pockets. So, you know, and it's very comfy. And it's just very, very nice. And it's like a velvety material, so it's cool. My next jacket I got at a rummage sale instead of an estate sale. It is in not that great a condition. It's got stains. The buttons are all like, well, the top two buttons are kind of gross. Um, but I got it for like $2.00. Um, and it's like a 50s, you know, type jacket you'd see on like a football player. And I just thought it was really neat. This one I got at an estate sale. It looks like I'd be a fighter pilot in like Top Gun. Uh, it's very warm and it's, it's, you know, it's pretty cool. 
Um, the fur is very soft, and it just, it's a bomber jacket, so I, you know, if I want to dress like a Top Gun movie star, I can. And, uh, it's got cool pockets in the front, um, and it just screams Tom Cruise and Top Gun. Now, the second one that I pulled out that I've since laid on the floor, this one, this one actually is from my family. This one is, uh, my grandfather's jacket. Uh, he is no longer with us, but, um, I was gifted it when he passed, uh, because my grandma no longer needed it. Um, it is, like, I don't know what year this is from, um, but it's quite old. It's very, very soft on the inside. It's got a nice collar. It's just very well kept. Uh, it was in his closet. I had not seen him wear it since I was alive, but he passed it on the 11, so, um, but it was a very, it's very nice and, uh, very soft. And it's got a story behind it. It's actually a family heirloom, you could say. Um, and it comes with a belt. And it's just, uh, if I want to dress like a cool old man, I'm ready. This dress has been featured on my Instagram. Uh, it is a 50s dress that I got at an antique mall a few hours from my house. Um, it's in very good condition. One of the buttons, buttonholes, is a little loose and coming f in a little bit of frayed. And the inside, you know, there's a little bit of damage. Um, but overall, it's in really good condition for its age. It makes me look cool, like a 50s housewife, the cool one. And I always like red and black. Uh, I wear a lot of red and black. So uh, combined together, it's just a very good combination. So. Disclaimer, I'm not going to go through every single piece of clothing I have because there's way too many. I'm just going over like my coolest pieces or the pieces I really like. If I went over this whole collection, it might take a few hours <laughs> because you can see this, but I also have stuff up here. I have stuff down here and I have stuff on the other side of this room. Uh, so we'll just, we'll go over my favorites. So this one I got at an antique mall um, down near Madison, Wisconsin, which is the capital of Wisconsin. And I saw it, it instantly went, I need it. <laughs> it was an instant, I'm buying this. It is a 30s wedding dress from the tag that I got it. I paid like $60, I think, for it. And it is beautiful. It is so damn comfy and makes me look so cute. Uh, I have posted uh, content with this dress. Um, and it's got some staining. Of course, a 30s wedding dress is not going to be in perfect condition unless you like, yeah, you take care of it very well. Um, and it's just, it's really form-fitting and the it's just really cute. This is a 50s suit that I got at the same antique mall as I got the last dress. There's the skirt, which is hanging off the hanger. And it makes me look like uh, like someone who murdered their husband, which is kind of the vibe I used for the TikToks I made with this suit. Because um, it's all black, and it looks like it could be for mourning. Like, 1800s, you would wear black for mourning. After that, it wasn't as, like, that's the only time you wear black. But it just looks like a suit you would wear after your husband has died and you murdered him. Uh, of course, you could wear it anytime, but that's the vibe I got off of it. It's got little bows. Uh, it's in very good condition as well. It's very, uh, it's form-fitting. Um, but yeah, this is my murder my husband outfit. <laughs> this dress makes me look like an elf or a Greek goddess, which I actually used it for, like, last week. Uh, it's got staining on it. Uh, I got this at an estate sale. Almost all of my clothes are estate sale items or antique mall items. I have gotten a few items off of Etsy, but a lot of it, that's where I get it from. I go to estate sales, I go to antique malls, and I go... <laughs> and I and I buy clothing when I see it. It's just it's very flowy. It makes me look cool. These two are wedding dresses. This one I actually showcased on my Instagram like a few weeks ago. It is beautiful. I believe it's from the 50s or 60s, but I don't know. Uh, I got it from an estate sale, common occurrence. Um, it's just very cute. It's of course stained a little bit, but it's just adorable. This one I actually got from Goodwill. Uh, during Halloween time, when they have the costume section, if they get vintage clothes, that's where they put them. So if you are a vintage enthusiast and you're at Goodwill during Halloween time, check the costumes, because sometimes vintage dresses will get into the costumes, like this. Uh, it is yellowed over time. I have not actually worn this on anything yet. Um, I haven't even tried it on. Uh, I got it during October and then put it in my closet. So this may or may not be showing up in content soon. Um, but I collect, uh, wedding dresses. Uh, I have a few of them in my collection, some in this closet, some elsewhere, but I, I don't know. I just like them. They're cute. They're adorable. Will I ever wear them to a wedding? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but they're cute. 
This is a 1980s prom dress. This is actually my mom's prom dress. Um, I don't know what year she wore it. Uh, my mom grew up in the 80s. Uh, so, but she gifted it to me years ago before I even started collecting vintage. Um, but you can tell how fluffy the these are. You got the nice little skirt. Uh, it's it doesn't fit as well as it used to, obviously, because I have grown up. I don't wear this very often, um, but it is from my mom. So even if it decides to stop fitting, I'm going to keep it um, because she wore this to a dance and uh, it just screams 80s. I mean, if it was more like neon, it'd scream 80s even more. But hey, it's 80s. These I purchased from a old woman in my town who was like trying to downsize her collection. And so I bought both of these. These are not true Edwardian outfits by any means. They're just styled that way. Uh, I don't think I've ever worn these for content, like ever. Um, I may or may not in the future. Uh, this green one, the skirt matches. This one, has, obviously you can tell they're not the same color. I don't know, cause she get, I bought these from her. I don't know if they went together or if she just paired them together, but I thought they were interesting. So I bought them both. Um, this one's got a lot of like detail work on it. If you look real close, this one's just velvety. Um, they're both cool. Uh, I don't know when I will wear these, but uh, one day I will, uh, cause I got them together. So, and they're cute. Maybe future time. This I got from an estate sale. Oh my God. This is a 1980s dress. Um, it's styled forties, but it is from, it is eighties. Um, it's, you can kind of tell by the coloring and there are, uh, shoulder pads in the shoulders. Uh, I, ha I don't think I've worn this for content either, as far as I'm aware. Uh, it is really nice fitting and the sleeves have buttons to like tighten around the wrists. Um, and it's very comfy and it's got a stretchy waist, which is, which is nice depending on the dress. Um, and it's just really cute. I, the problem with me is that I can't choose what decade to collect from. I don't collect from the forties or just the fifties or just the eighties. I collect from which is a problem when you have no space, but I do it. This piece I've had before the three years of collecting and it is a wedding dress. Sadly, my cat got to it, like an asshole, um, and destroyed it. So I only wear this when I have a skirt to put over top. Um, I took a few photos in it when I originally got it, when it was still in pretty good shape. Uh, now it is not good. I got this dress prior to me knowing I should take care of them. I was younger when I got this and I did not take care of it as well as I should have. Uh, the top is still pretty in good condition except for the sleeve as a whole. Um, and the skirt got fucked up by my cat. It had staining before when I got it. So it was never in perfect condition, but cat got to it. Warning, if you have vintage clothes, don't put it anywhere where a cat can get to it. <laughs> wow, I know it's, it should be rocket science, but sadly I didn't realize that. This pile of clothing is three suits that I own. Uh, and I just attached them together. This one is a 60s suit. Uh, I really like the coloring on this one. I don't think I have ever worn this one. Future, future. This one uh, I got, uh, it's a 40 style suit. It's got some staining, but it's got this really cool pocket detailing right here. And this one I have worn. It's got little bows. It's also like a 40s, 50s suit. It, it's tailored in the sides, so it's not just like a like a bag, uh, which I think is cute. And it's, it's uh, it's just really fitted. I believe I got this at an estate sale. This one's a little tight, actually. Um, it's not perfect fitting. It is a little small, but it's not too small where I can't wear it. This dress is a 50s dress. Um, it does have some staining on it. Obviously, it used to be white and green. Now it's more like a tannish green. It's got some stained spots, and the bottom's a little dirty. Um, I got this from a seller. Uh, they actually uh, offered for me to come to their house and see their collection. They sell on Etsy. Um, and so I was like, ha ha, yeah. So I've gotten a few things from them. And this dress is probably one of my favorites. It fits very well. The skirt is very flowy when it comes to vintage clothes. I love flowy skirts where I can spin in it like, woo. I usually wear this for Easter or springtime because obviously this is a spring style dress. Um, and it's got some uh, boning in the front actually, which is, you know, to fit better. And it's got little bows and it's green. And it's just, it's just really cute. It's a very cute spring dress. And uh, I love it to pieces. Um, it's probably one of my favorite pieces because I got it straight from the seller. And they they gave it to me because they, they I don't remember the exact story of, of it, but they did give me the story behind the dress. And um, they're like, here, try it on. And then when it fit perfectly, they're like, you need to have it. And I'm like, yes, I do. So I bought it. <laughs> this stack of clothing is three prom dresses that I have. Um, 
in shades of pink. So this one has got little roses on it. It's a strapless dress. Uh, the only problem with these three is the lace is rough. It has gone crunchy, which happens with time. Um, this one is really cute. Um, it's a little tight around the top, a little uncomfortable because the lace is crunchy. Um, but it's really, really adorable. I have taken pictures in this and I really think it's cute. Now these two dresses are actually identical dresses in two different colors. Uh, so this one is like a purp like a light purple, and this one is pink, very similar to the last dress. And they're the, they're the exact same dress I looked. They are identical. I bought them at two different times and did it on accident. Um, but they're the same dress. Uh, this one actually comes with like a little thing for your, for your arms, little cute shirt. This one no longer has that. Um, they're both strapless. Uh, this one comes with a little bag. Um, and they're both really cute. They're both crunchy, sadly, so they're not as comfortable as they could be. Um, but they are the same dress in two different shades, which I did accidentally. So, my camera died. We're on my phone now. Hi. Uh, I'm a great YouTuber. This dress has been seen on my TikTok and Instagram before. This was the piece that really skyrocketed my love for vintage. This dress and the coat, I bought at the same sale. The sale that really made me believe that I want to collect vintage. And so it is a 50s or 40s uh, style uh, shirt dress. It comes with the original belt. Um, a few of the buttonholes are a little loose. It's got some snagging, a little bit of staining. It's wrinkled. That's my bad. I don't normally like clothes that are basic colors like this. I, I like reds and blacks, which are kind of basic. But like when it comes to like tans and browns, I don't really wear a lot of tan and brown. Um, because I'm pale as fuck, so I blend in with the clothes. Um, but this is like the dress that really skyrocketed my love for vintage. I haven't worn it in quite a while, um, but it is a favorite of mine for that reason, and I'll probably keep it forever. All right, this next piece is also a suit because I have a lot of them. Uh, it is also tan. Um, it buttons up the front of the skirt and the suit top. Uh, this reminds me of like an army jacket. Uh, it's not. Uh, it is. Made by Pendleton, I Pendleton, yes, Pendleton. Um, it's for sports. It's a cute color. I saw it and knew I had to have it. I got it at an antique mall. It's a, uh, it's really cute. Um, a lot of my clothes is cute in my opinion. I wouldn't buy it if I didn't. It's got buttons on the sleeves. It's got buttons up the top. It's got a cool pin, pin tag style of it. It is very comfy. It's a little tight. I don't know if I do sports in this. Personally, I don't think doing sports in a skirt is cool. Uh, but that's my opinion. Uh, but yeah, it's got pockets on the front of the skirt. It's just cute. My last two pieces are older than basically everything in this closet. A lot of this is 40s, 50s, or 80s. Um, these two pieces are actually older. So this one, I believe, is from the early 1900s. Of course, it could be styled that way, but the, from the how old it feels, I believe it is. It is a top with buttons all the way up here and goes down. To here um it's a shirt see it's very wrinkled don't mind that <laughs> and it comes with the skirt that would go over like this and then you put a skirt on top of that this is like the under now this piece this is the piece of resistance my favorite thing i think i own have i worn it no but it doesn't mean it's not my favorite this piece is a genuine 1900s, I believe, uh, blouse. Um, I got this at an antique mall. The boning is still in it. Uh, the inside it is coming loose a little bit, but it looks to be handmade. It could be made by a company, but there's no tag. Um, and it's got the original eyes and hooks in it. Some of them have fallen out. It's got buttons near the bottom. Sleeves are really, you know, cute. Um, I got this, and it's genuine. I believe it is early 1900s. It could even be late 1800s. I do not know. But it is actually from the time period. This is the oldest piece of clothing that I own. I would love to wear this with something. I need a skirt to go with it. But it's just, it's so cute. It's so cute. All right, guys, that is the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed. I did not go through every single piece of clothing that I own. That would take 20 million years. Uh, this collection is ever growing. I get new pieces like every other week. My issue is I buy a ton of stuff. I'm like, I'm going to wear it. I'm going to wear it. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. And then my collection keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And then when I'm like, I should probably get rid of some stuff. I literally can't. I'm like, oh, but I could. Ah. So hopefully I'll be able to downsize a little bit. 
uh, of the clothing I do not wear. Some of these pieces I think are really cute, but there's no point in leaving it in my closet for it not to be worn or shown off or, you know, just hiding away in a dark closet. Someone else should be able to enjoy it. So we'll see what happens. I might be downsizing soon. I might not be. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, but I really enjoy this collection. This is a collection I really got into three years ago and I've become obsessed with it. It's not my only collection. I have a lot. I collect vintage clothes. I collect vintage photographs and letters and postcards. I collect vintage books. Uh, I collect items like this player right here. It is not true from the 1900s. It's, I think, from the 80s. It's got a cassette player in the side. So it's old, but not old. Uh, I collect signs. I like little knick-knacky things and makeup products and little bottles. It's, it's absurd. Uh, and then I have other collections that are not vintage, uh, included. Um, but I just, I, I collect and I really enjoy it. I may do an update video to this in a few years, uh, when I have more items or depending if I go on a ginormous vintage haul, maybe I'll get some, uh, I'll do a video then. But I do hope you guys enjoyed, uh, some of this stuff you may have seen on my channel. Some of this you may not have. So I hope it was interesting for you. All right, guys, I will see you Thursday with another True Crime Thursday and Monday with whatever I decide to post. All right, guys, I'll see you later. Woo!